Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island and another episode of Complete the Ark with me James. We're back from facing the pesky dragon, but we did it. And uh, I've been working hard, I've been gathering some metal and some hide. And there's some things I want to show you just in the back here. So, blueprint wise, what we were looking at, and I have read all the comments about what dinos we should use in the tech cave. I was thinking about a Baryonyx for a sec, but I have got an Allosaurus saddle that I didn't realise we had. I know we've got one on Bumblebee, but I didn't realise we had that one. And I have come upon a Uteranus saddle, a Mastercraft one, so that's going to be handy. And this Ascendant Salt Rifle we don't need anymore because I have been farming some Black Pearls and I've come across some deep sea loot crates and we've got uh, an Apprentice Riot Shield and a fabricated sniper rifle anyway with decent damage on it so we don't need to craft the other one and I've pretty much got all the trophies we're going to need I'll have to double check that but I think we've got everything we need alpha trophy wise so if we go the route of using the Allosauruses that's going to save having to breed and mutate anymore um, I think that Bumblebee is pretty powerful um, to breed off and I still have the Allosauruses in the back to breed from. We could add a couple of mutations to them but that's definitely a way that we could go. Um, but right now we're going to head over to the green obelisk and just bring saddles with us and we're going to go very slowly because uh, I've got over 5,000 metal ingots and a load of other stuff to craft the tech fabricator. So we're going to go and craft that and uh, Find a nice place to stick it down on the island. We'll see you when you get there. Okay, and we're back. And it does take a little bit of time to pull all the ingredients we're going to need into the terminal. So I've just put them all across. As you can see, we've got 5,000 metal ingots, 150 black pearls. 800 polymer and 600 crystal to craft what we're going to need to craft the things that we're going to need and oh, we do get a little bit of change may as well take it with us and that's the tech fabricator I'll grab this not that I really need it and we'll just shove it on saddles and this is the thing you can't move that's why I land my birds quite close to the terminal and may as well take that with us so we're going to have to, being that this has cost so much to craft, we're going to have to find somewhere nice to stick it. So I've got an idea of where to place it on the island. What we got over there, Tapajura? What level are you? I must admit, I should stop looking at uh, dinos to possibly tame that would be no use to us, but I just can't help it. That is one of the things about trying to complete the arc, is getting distracted by dinosaurs you don't need. Okay, so I've just crafted some things we're going to need to place this tech fabricator down. Now, in here I've just done some triangle foundations and normal foundations. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, well, pretty much exactly the same thing we did with the base of the greenhouse. So, for those of you that were ask, asking how I did that earlier on, it was just the front entrance. Well, we'll do it now and I'll do it in real time so you can see. Or at least I will attempt to because on this bit of the hill is slightly inclined so I'm just gonna have to eyeball it to keep it above the sand and sort of keep it level so we just place that one say so just gonna have to guess it mm. I think it's gonna clear that okay at least with the integration of the parts of S Plus that they have put into the standard game, you can pick up the foundations. Ah, see that was what I was worried about. The problem is you only get a certain amount of time to pick them up, so we may have wasted one or two. Can we pick them all up? And not that one. And I'm losing the sunlight to do this in as well. I want to keep it just above the sand. 
So we'll have to build it. Perhaps round about here. I think that should give us plenty of clearance. The triangles are definitely a nice add to the game. You can really come up with some different ideas for structures. This is pretty basic though. But it's kind of the entrance that sells this and I didn't want to stick it down on a square foundation because the tech fabricator is round itself. And we're losing the light. Okay, so we just lost the sunlight, so I just figured I'd just hold off there. Just so you can see exactly what we're doing. Now, I'm pretty sure that the tech fabricator is going to fit on this about perfect. But uh, what we want to do is, no, not that. Okay, so we need to come out with a couple of triangles to do the steps. And uh, I want to make them like the steps that we've done to the greenhouse here that come around in a three leading up to the side but without the walkway around the side. So in order to do that we just need a couple of triangle foundations and I'm hoping this is going to work with the stairs or the metal stairs but if it doesn't we'll use the ramps instead. Just thinking that the stairs might sort of make it look like it clips a little bit. Add some railings. I bought the paint gun as well because we might have a go at painting this as well. It's one of the things I failed to do on this run. It is pay a little bit more attention to detail on some of the things but the purpose was to complete it. I still want to make it look good though. That looks okay. Okay, before we put the fabricator down, I'm just gonna spray paint the middle. Because I don't think I'll be able to get there once I place the fabricator down, so we'll probably best spray paint it first. And uh I need to enable the rest of them. I was just thinking of a little sort of nuclear sign in the middle and we need to enable all regions on the die. I don't know if you actually see this when the fabricator's on it but I was just thinking do it with red. I was thinking maybe if we did it with yellow it might stick out a little bit too much but hey kind of looks like the umbrella corporation Right, and uh, yeah, I think that's cool. We might go with black for the rest of the base. Being that we've built out of stone and wood mostly on the island, but this is the tech upgrade, so I feel perhaps metal will help break it up a bit. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. I think we'll do the rest of the floor as well. Okay. We'll just place it. Oh. And I didn't want to move it. We'll just come above just so I can see I get it straight. I want to get this perfect. And just there. Okay. Quality. Now I think we can just about walk around the outside. I am going to rail in the outside. But yeah, I think having the three sets of metal stairs comes up to it. That looks pretty cool. Right, okay, I've transferred everything we've got. I've bought all the black pearls that I've got. And let's see what we can craft. Um, it does take the tech element to craft stuff, so I don't really want to turn this on for too long. We just want to do it all in one go, so let's see what we can do. Um, first of all, armor wise, we're going to do, we need a whole set of armor, and I'd probably like two sets of armor if I can. 
Um, we will take a tech rifle, although I don't really plan to use it. Um, where is it? Weapons, firearms, tech. Because it's only got 100% damage on it and it's going to be good for getting the Parlovia out of the ground. It might be good for some stuff, but my shotgun is definitely something we're going to need. And the saddle. We'll just do the one tech rec saddle. Again, I'll probably use the saddle to shoot the Parlovia more than the gun, so I think the gun might be a little bit of a waste. But hopefully we've got enough to craft a little bit more armour here. And I'll probably have to go and get some more Black Pearls. Um, but I'll take that, and I want a helmet, definitely. And what else can we do, perhaps? Okay, so we're sure a pair of gloves and shoes, but that's that's not too bad. We've nearly got two full sets of armour. We've got a Tech Rex saddle. And... I'll probably switch between that and the Ascendant saddle. But it's getting through the tech cave. Depends on how mobbed I get, but I'll have both on my racks. Okay. Well, now we got the upgrades. Let's just take it for a quick spin. I know we need every piece of element we can get, and it is extra rare on the island. But we can't help it, you know. It's Iron Man. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it can do a lot more of that. It's got it's got some uh, it's got some cool tricks, um, but most importantly, we're going to be able to see enemy enemies under the ground. So we're going to need this stuff, and um, I probably will end up taking the otter in with me. Actually, I'll probably take otter pot 4.0 because it actually gets uh, quite cold. Um, after you get through the tech cave, so that'll help with the insulation. And I think the best idea is to stick this stuff away, because otherwise I might be tempted to use it. And so the tech rifle, which I'm not so sure we're going to use too much of, but uh, we've crafted it anyway. And we are going to need some more black pearls just to craft some more boots and gloves. I'd like to have two sets for the tech cave and uh, for those of you who've joined my discord you might have noticed uh, my admin sin guru there sometimes helping out and answering questions and uh, he's always helping me out too uh, so if you do if you are on my discord you're welcome to join I often post silly pictures of my dog uh, but as well as that uh, we do talk all things arc and uh, sin told me to use pheromone darts to lure them to the giga and i can't believe i really didn't think of it but if we just go into the ingrams here it was something that was added uh, quite late on around there we go, level 90, the pheromone darts, and it takes the Amamite bite to make. And that doesn't last very long in the inventory, but while we're hunting for some black pearls, we may as well go and take some Amamite bite, and uh, perhaps we can refrigerate some of these pheromone darts. Um, but that's definitely going to be a key tactic, and I just want to shout uh, Singuru out for suggesting that one. Um, I've, uh, yeah, we're going to take advantage of that. Okay, so we're just going to take Tank out and uh, have a look around for some more Black Pearls. I generally find the Tussos and the Mosas drop plenty of Black Pearls and if you're lucky enough to find any of the Alpha ones. I have found a couple of Alpha Tussos, so I have got all of the Alpha Tributes that we're going to need to unlock the cave, but, uh, Nevertheless, they do drop uh, considerably more Black Pearls um, from the Alphas. And just put my scuba gear on. Now, one of the things with the Am Amamites is um, they do sit at the bottom of the ocean. And I tend not to go too far. Well, I do go to the bottom because the Basilo takes a little bit of damage, as you can see. It starts taking damage and the 
noise can start to grate on you so you tend to go up and above but um, you do need to go to the bottom to hunt for the loot crates and uh, sometimes these guys can be you know right down in amongst the weeds and you can't see them and again with the lobster guys they also drop black pearls they tend to be in a bunch so you've just really got to hunt around on the bottom and due to the fact that I've pretty much only tamed up my basilo for hunting the caves and going for loot. It's one of them that I haven't really stumbled across too much in this playthrough, but I'm going to specifically hunt some now so that we can just craft up the pheromone darts. But I suspect that uh, I'm probably going to have to do that before we open the tech cave, probably get half a dozen, maybe a dozen darts together because. Uh, like Sin says, that's going to be great if we can hit that Giga with one of them, just let everything go for it, and then hopefully lure that into the lava. Um, that's going to be a that's going to be a key tactic there. Always find angler fish. They always come back to you. They come over to start and they run away. Always. See even this one here. Oh, I think there's an ammonite just there. That's exactly what we're looking for. And they release that toxin which pretty much aggravates everything around in the area, if there is anything. And is there any more under here? Sometimes they sort of clip and blend in with the coral I find. But uh, I can't see it anymore. And so usually they're around with the lobsters and... There's one over there. It's like it's heading out the map. Just about managed to get it to it before it went out the map. It's one of the deceive. It's one of the deceiving things about the ocean. Actually, it is actually quite small down here. So we got there 14. Did I not get any more than that? Looks like you get sort of seven per each one. It's just aggravated a Donclio, which is a really useful dino, and I would tame one up, especially if you're on Ragnarok, um, metal spawns under the oceans, so that is a great way, as well as an Anki, get the Donclio and uh, do some underwater farming if you're on Ragnarok, but it's not as much use on the island, um, unless you're struggling for oil, again, it's a great way to get oil. Um, but there's an oil drop literally right outside Herbie Island, so oil's not something I've struggled for. Okay, so it only lasts a couple of hours in the inventory, no difference in the fridge, so let's just see if crafting them up makes any difference. And I've got a full, which is not a bad problem to have. That polymer has taken ages to gather, so... Um, okay, let's just craft them all. And... Let's say I'm pretty sure the uh, pheromone trank... Well, the tranquilizer dart, the advanced tranquilizer dart, should probably only craft them when I need them, because the materials don't start degrading until you put the actual dart together, but... Just drop that, we can't. Let's just grab them and my tranquilizers. Um, so, what difference has it made to the timer? Um, if any, just put my gear back on. And spoils in less than two hours so it's made no difference whether we've crafted it or not it's still not going to last until we need it um, so as I suspected I'm going to have to craft that before we open the cave but that's not a problem if I craft 14 up like that we'll have enough to get us through the cave I mean we get five minutes to get through the door and then 60 minutes when we're inside so that'll be long enough I couldn't resist be an Iron Man one more time. But I better put this suit away because I'm going to waste all of the element we're going to need to fight the Overseer. Now, 
Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new here for more art content. And uh, we are going to be having quite a bit of art content come up over the next few weeks because of course we've got the release of the Genesis update very soon. Don't forget to come and check me out for that. I'll be going live as soon as the server is live with that first episode. And I do expect to be covering a little bit of the Genesis stuff. Um, but in between then I am going to have to gather a lot of hide, a lot of metal and do some Allosaurus breeding. I suspect next time on Complete the Ark we'll be building at the volcano and transferring dinosaurs. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.